What's up guys, I'm Vortech and we're back again in Mechanica where I want to share with you an item that I just took way too long to even play with. It's one of the most intriguing items when you first jump into the game. It is the digital clock and I I'm going to show you today how to make lights turn on and off depending on what time it is in the game. And I think it's the perfect time to try this because I think the sun's about to come up. I may not even have time to <laughs> program this the way I want, so I gotta kinda hurry here. Uh, okay, so the way this is gonna work is if you wanna program your lights to come on with the sunrise rather than with a light switch, you'll first need to have a light, of course. And I just deleted that wall. Go me, I thought that was fixed. All right, we're gonna hook the light to the clock and we're gonna hook the light to a switch. A switch is helpful because we're going to want to set up a process that kind of uh, triggers this whole sequence. But once it's triggered, it should be done after that. Uh, we're being stalked. That's great. And I don't have walls anymore, so that's also great. Um, hello. <laughs> Welcome. <laughs> Welcome to my little home. Oh, my gosh. This tutorial is going awful. <sighs> okay. Well, anyway, we've hooked up our, our light to both sources here. I'm gonna program everything in the light and here's how this is going to work. So the digital clock has a few different options in it on minute past, on hour past, on new day. There's a lot of different things you can do. Um, we're actually going to be doing a variable for, for checking if it's nighttime. There's probably multiple ways to do this. I want you to let me know in the comments what you would do and what you would program with this clock, not just lights. I mean, it's, it's a clock that can detect what time it is. So what kinds of craziness can you turn on and off with that? Let me know in the comments. Um, so, basically a branch is gonna check for the condition, is it between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m. or nighttime? So you have your branch. What you'll need to do is find your light functions, wherever they are, depending on where you're programming it. For me, it's in the light right now because I'm, I'm toggled onto the light. That's where I'm programming everything. Essentially, I'm going to use turn on and turn off as the programs for the light. So, if it's between the hours of 6 p.m. and 6 a.m., turn the light on. But if it's not, turn the light off. Now, the reason we need a switch is because this branch doesn't know what it's doing. It doesn't know how to run. Um, and you know what's actually kind of dumb is this switch is terrible for this. We actually would prefer a button, I think. A, a button just to trigger this one time, one time alone, and just be done with it. Uh, that's that's what, what I'm going to do. That's how I'm going to make this work. So I'm actually going to use a button and... All I need to do is on button push, run the branch. Now you may say, well, that's not gonna work, right? Because it's only gonna run the branch the one time. Is it? Is it nighttime? If I hit it right now, the light turned on because it is in fact nighttime. We need the branch to trigger over and over and over again. And the way we're gonna do that is with a timer. Once turn on or turn off has been executed, a timer is going to trigger. And it's good to make this timer kind of out a little bit. You don't want it doing every one second because if you had a lot of those going, that could really mess up your game. Um, at least that's my theory anyway. All we're doing is looping the timer back. So, true or false, is the light on? Turn it on, turn it off. Once that's been decided, oh, it's not daytime, turn the light off. Or it's not nighttime, I mean, turn the light off. Run this timer for five seconds and run the branch again. Check to see has the time changed? So now, what we've set up is once I hit the button again, once we've what we've set up here is every five seconds is the equivalent of hitting that button again. What I don't know, and what you might be able to tell me in the comments while you're there anyway, is if I can get rid of the button. That'd be kind of nice. Something has to trigger that branch though. So that is what we're going to use to do it. Now that that timer's triggered forever and ever though, all I need to do is wait until sunset or uh, moon set rather and I need to see if this light turns itself off there it is with a little bit of uh, time staring at the uh, the horizon there watching the moon go away uh, I'm glad I kind of took away this wall because I was able to just sit there and <laughs> watch it but yeah with a little bit of time the light turned off all by itself so now forever and ever the lights will turn on at nighttime and greet me after a long day of roaming the desert. 
And those long days should get a little bit shorter for me, or a little bit more bearable anyway, because pretty soon the vehicle update is coming out for Mechanica, and I'm very much looking forward to covering that, very likely in the next Mechanica video. So that is something you're going to want to subscribe for. I just wanted to do a quick little programming tutorial. This is going to be great. If you've never programmed in Mechanica before, what I'm hoping is that this clock has opened your eyes to a lot of different possibilities. If you're new to the game and you weren't really, really thinking of automating your setup, your base, uh, with such a thing. You could set it up so maybe your buddy bots have things that they're doing, but they turn off at, at night or on at night. Maybe all of your weapon systems turn on when it turns nighttime. There are so many different things you could do just based on the time of day, and I think that is so freaking cool. So thank you so much for watching. I look forward to making more Mechanica videos very soon. Just wanted to give you guys something quick while we eagerly await the next content update. I, I'm just so excited. I will see you in the next one. Catch you later.